Hey everyone, Reaper here again with another video. This is part two of my um, video games that uh, were based in some way off of uh, comics, comic characters, comic books, whatever you want to call it. So I grabbed a few more off the shelf, or I should say off the shelves, um, to show you. I'll probably make one more video um, because I still have a, you know some more to show after this. So let's get started. I don't want to be too, too long with this video just in case the Kraken finds me and starts ramming his head into the door here. So let's start off with some more Nintendo games. Dick Tracy. Um, this game, it's, it's kind of difficult. It's not necessarily uh, the best game to play, but it's most definitely based off of comic book or comic strip uh, character. Of Dick Tracy. I think he was created by uh, Chester Gould, I think. And one more for Nintendo. The really, really cool uh, Batman. It was supposed to be based off of the eight, the eighty nine movie. This came out. I was when I when I saw this in Toys R Us. I just had to have it, and it was such a great game. Difficult too. I mean, some parts are pretty difficult. Uh, especially the Joker at the end. I Actually, I just beat this game, I think, two years ago, and I've had it ever since 1989, so this goes to show how uh, difficult it, uh, it is, and but a lot of fun. All right, we're going to move on to some Genesis titles, uh, sticking with Batman. Got a couple more Batmans. Uh, Batman Returns, based off of the movie. Not a very good game, not a very good game, but yet another game based, uh, another... Uh, game based off of a comic book uh, movie, comic anything that's comic book related. Not a very good game. Play controls a little off. Uh, not a lot of fun. Now this one here, um, uh, Batman the Animated Series. Now this is when Genesis got cheap and they got rid of the nice clam sh clamshells which really became the norm today with video games, right? And when you buy physical copies, they're in some type of clamshell. Genesis, well, not necessarily Genesis. I think Sega started that with uh, the Master System. But anyway, uh, toward the end of the last couple of years of Sega's life, uh, Genesis, the life of Genesis, they went to boxes really cheap. I mean, you can see it's falling out. But anyway, let's get to the game. Um, definitely great graphics, colorful. I didn't find this game as fun as other uh, Batman games, uh, the levels seem to go on forever and ever and ever, and they're, they're really difficult. Um, and it's just not a whole lot of fun. But I know a lot of people tend to like this game. One more, for, one more Genesis for this video, and I think probably one of the best ones. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Hyperstone Heist. Really cool game. It's the style of this game is sort of like Turtles in Time, you know, that brawler, final fight type, uh, wait, uh, final fight type game where you go through the stages and beat through hordes and hordes of enemies until you get to a boss character at the end. You beat the boss character, you advance to the next stage. A lot of fun. Not as good as Turtles in Time, but it's Genesis, it was the Genesis version of uh, a Turtles in Time type game. Pretty fun, pretty cool. Let's move on to Super Nintendo. Wolverine. Uh, I have the box somewhere. I don't know where it is, but uh, Wolverine Adamantium Rage. I enjoyed the original Wolverine for Super for the regular Nintendo. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I enjoyed it. So I thought this was going to be good. There is definitely something missing from this game. It's not that enjoyable. It's really not a whole lot of fun. And um, yeah, the graphics are pretty cool, but that doesn't make a game as much as the play control and the fun factor. A couple more for uh, Super Nintendo before I move on. Turtles Tournament Fighters. This was, uh, you know, Konami, Konami put this out. It was their answer to like, sort of like a Street Fighter, but they used turtle characters. It was okay. Not as polished as Street Fighter, but decent. Good graphics. And here we have the last Super Nintendo game for this video, Mutant Apocalypse. This one was okay. I know by Capcom, so you know they 
graphics, you know, are going to be great. It was a pretty good game. You get to select. I don't remember how many characters you get to choose from. But I think maybe five, six, whatever. I think the following year they released War of the Gems, you know, where I think you had to fight Thanos. And it wasn't just X-Men. It was... It could be the Hulk, Iron Man, I think Wolverine and so forth. They had a bunch of Marvel characters. But this was the first of that type of game where you choose a character. Each character has his or her own stage. You go through it and uh, sort of like a brawler and you fight a boss character again. But like I said, pretty cool graphics, pretty cool play control too. Not that easy. I'm not saying a game should be easy. You know, you know. There's, of course, you want a challenge. But I think sometimes it could be a little frustrating. But... You know, nevertheless, pretty cool game. I'm stacking the games up here. I'm just hoping they're not going to all fall down. <laughs> uh, here's one for the uh, N64. I don't think I don't show too much N64 in my uh, video game uh, videos because it's not one of my favorite systems. But nonetheless, I don't I don't have the first one, but this is Turok 2. Turok was based off a comic book uh, uh, character. Um, it's, this is like a first-person shooter, like Doom, so that's what this play control is like. Um, I wasn't a big fan of this game. It was it was just so-so. No big deal. I got it because I wanted to see what it was like, and I was just like, eh, it's all right. But I know a lot of people like this game. But yet another game based off of a comic book character. Now we're going to get to the GameCube. More turtle action. This is the first one. I know they released another one called Battle Nexus. This one was okay. They tried to recapture the glory of what was Turtles in Time, what was the original Turtles game for the arcade. It wasn't that bad, but it was with the new uh, uh, storyline with the Turtles. Remember in the early 2000s when they revamped Turtles? They didn't have Bebop and Rocksteady anymore. They didn't have. I don't think they had Krang. They had a different take on the Turtles, a re-imaging of it. Well, this game is based off of that uh, new cartoon series, which I wasn't a big fan of. I liked the original. Even though the original was kind of corny, that's the one I liked. But they try to recapture the play control. The graphics are great. Pretty good game. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now we're on to the PlayStation 2. This one is one of my favorites. And it's not superhero themed. Snoopy and the Red Baron. Basic now, Snoopy, Peanuts, comic strip, right? Not a comic book, but comic strip, so this still qualifies for this type of video. Basically, with this game is, I don't, I don't really play too many games like this, so I don't really know off the top of my head what to compare it to other than Crimson Skies, where you control a plane and you go throughout a level, destroying different things, accomplishing objectives before the level's over. Well, that's the way it is here, except it's based off of Snoopy's like fantasy, where he is a World War I uh, fighter uh, pilot and is going up against the Red Baron. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think that, really? That's, that's, that's fun? It is fun. It's a pretty cool game. And I think it's a hidden gem, too. I think this game is actually starting to go up in uh, price for anybody that cares about that sort of stuff. Here's another game. It was all right. Not that great. Uh, it's just one of the games that actually I was given this for free. Um, but it was all right. Another PlayStation 2 game, Ultimate Spider-Man. Not bad. Not bad. Don't really have too much to say about it other than that. <laughs> now we're on to uh, PlayStation 3 as we start to wind down. Like I said, I don't want this to be too, too long. I'm already at almost the nine-minute mark. I think a lot of people may have played this. You probably would like it for PlayStation 3. It's also out for the 360. I have the PlayStation 3 version. Deadpool. A lot of, a lot of fun. It's what you expect from a Deadpool game. A lot of humor. Um... It can be gory, uh, pretty cool play control, and uh, yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. I think they also re-released it for the PlayStation 4, too, and maybe the Xbox One. I'm not sure. But like I said, it's available also for the uh, Xbox 360. Now here we have two right here. The Darkness and The Darkness 2. This is based off of the Witchblade universe. Pretty cool games. First-person shooters. You get to be um, the character Jackie. I forget how to say his last name. I don't really remember too much of it. But you're playing as him because he's the darkness. And you get to do all these different powers in the first person. 
And it's a lot of fun. Really good game. Uh, I think it stayed loyal to the comic book character and his storyline. And I think, it's although it's not a hidden gem, I don't think it's a series that is talked about that much. I believe it's also out for the PlayStation 3. So you just don't have to get it on Xbox 360. That just happens to be the system that I have it for. Alrighty. Uh, the last 360 game for this video. Walking Dead. Now this here is... Um, it's 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 hard to explain. It's like a actually it isn't. It's a point and click adventure, and I think you have to uh, time like you know it, the screen will ask you to push a button at a certain time, and you have to do that in order to survive a sequence. So basically, uh, that's what this is about. You know, it's not necessarily an action game or first person shooter game per se, as it is more of a point and click adventure. Go over here, investigate this quickly push this button, move in that direction to get out of the way. It's actually pretty good. It tells a pretty good story, a completely original story outside of the comics. Here's a real good one. This might be a slightly, slightly considered, it might be slightly considered a hidden gem, but I don't think it's that expensive. It's for the Wii. Now, I'm not a big fan of that system at all, but I enjoyed this game. Uh, Batman, the Brave and the Bold. Pretty cool game. Side-scrolling. A throwback to the old Super Nintendo days. A lot of fun. Definitely worth checking out if you have a Wii. Finally, dust it. You know, gets blow off some of the dust from that uh, Wii unit you have that you never really played to get that. That's that. That'd be worth it. Uh, last two, uh, I have them for the PlayStation 4. I believe they're also available for the Xbox One. We're going with some Batman stuff. Now, remember how I showed you Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City? Well, here's the last one, the last one in the trilogy, Batman Arkham Knight. Pretty cool game. Uh, the Scarecrow is the main villain in this one. It closes the Arkham trilogy, like I just said. Pretty good storyline. You get to use the Batmobile in this game, which I couldn't stand. I, I hated that. But um, still a pretty good game. And it's all, like I said, it's also available for Xbox One. And the last one. Batman, the Telltale series, just like that Walking Dead game that I mentioned earlier, that I just showed. It's one of those point-and-click story narrative uh, video games. It's really story-driven instead of action, instead of going through the level, shooting enemies, beating up enemies, all that stuff that you might be used to with your regular brawler that you would think that Batman would lend itself well to, which, it, which he does. They take, they've taken it and added a, a different flair to it with this release. So that is uh, Video Games Based Off of Comic Books Part 2. I will have the third one out maybe by another week or two. That will be the last one for this particular series. So thank you all for watching. If you played some of these games, you'll, yeah, I assume you have your own opinions on them. Um, but if you don't, you want to check some of them out. Um, the majority of them are pretty good. But you know, I would stay away from the ones that I didn't really recommend for the reasons I mentioned. So uh, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you and talk to you all soon.